What is going on guys? We are back and today we're going to be seriously nerding it up this episode more than I usually do because we are going to be looking at the mod Mine Chem today. Now one of you guys said that I should make this room over here into a Mine Chem room and I didn't know what that was. I've never seen this mod before and you guys might see these vials a lot when you're looking at recipes because a lot of objects in the game have a recipe that can be made with Mine Chem. And so I think it's going to be really fun because you can basically make like anything you need out of um, base chemicals, which is what uh, these are. You kind of decom or I don't even know, you take stuff apart to their basic elements and then recombine those elements to make different items. So uh, I thought it'd be really cool to do. Never done it before, so we're going to be learning as we go. I did look up a little bit, but uh, today I haven't done much prepping for the episode other than gathering what we need for a tesseract because we need to power this room. So... I guess that's what we have to do to start out today. Uh, I wasn't really looking forward to this, to making a Tesseract, that is, because I have to go find so many Ender Pearls. Um, but I do have the Obsidian, so we'll start with the hardened glass. So I believe I have to pulverize this. Um, which one is it? There we go. I, I believe that's more than we need. We should get two from each one. Just make sure. Oh, we get four from each one. Wow, I made way too much. Uh, I used the vat, though. I know I've told you guys this before. Simple trick, I'll show you right now. I didn't really know about this before, but all you gotta do is... Wow, I hate when this happens. This happens a lot. It, the buckets glitch out. Um, but yeah, basically you just throw water in there, lava in there, then it smokes, and eventually it will make us obsidian. So you don't have to go mining for it, and you don't even have to break it yourself. So it's pretty nice. Uh, so once we have that, we can throw that in there with some lead. It takes eight per two, so... Actually, yeah, we should be good. We only need four. Uh, I have an excess of lead ingots. I don't really use these for anything. I can't even, I'm so bad at remembering recipes. Okay, yeah, so get two of that from one. And we'll save that for later. Okay, so we should be good on that front. Um, we got the diamond, obviously, the enderium. Obviously, we already have the pyrothium. We have more than we need for that. Now we need the blend. So we are going to need to make fluid transposers good. We're going to have to get rid of that redstone in there. Huh. I wish there was a way to empty this out. Is there? I don't think there is. Yeah, see, that puts that in there, and that puts it into a bucket. But I think... Yeah, we don't have enough. What I'm... Here's what we can do. I think we can do this. If we take some more redstone and put some in there, I think you get, like, 50 per. Let's try making this redstone. It should fill up a bucket. Yeah. So we'll just fill a full bucket with redstone to get rid of it. And there we go. Okay. Uh, so now we need to melt down. We actually need to melt down all of these. So this is going to take a little bit. Uh, where? We got the excess there. And we got the hardened glass here. So we can start setting this up. So we got the hardened glass. Uh, we're going to need one bucket of that. And then we're going to have to start pulverizing. Oh, see? Chemical stuff. This is a lot of stuff though. A lot of stuff you gotta put together. So we need two tin, a silver, and a shiny metal. Shiny metal, two tin, and silver. I have a lot of extra silver too. I guess I don't really use that for much. And is this... Yes, this is done. Cool. And we're gonna have some leftover. Can't complain about that. Uh, I really wish I could find, I either need to make an auto-spawner eventually, or need to find some ender lily seeds, because those would make this so much easier when I need to get ender pearls. And I don't know if this needs to be in a specific order. Actually, I think I know the way to make it. Okay, this should be it. There we go. Enderium blend. Nice. And we have pyrothium. Okay, getting this out of the way. This is going to take a little bit. Um, so we can start working. I haven't made any of the machines for mine chem yet. Uh, so we can take a look at this. There really aren't that many machines, and we're going to make most of them today. Obviously, computer craft uh, mixes with this, with the turtles, and we may get into that a little bit later. But for now, I think we're just going to stick to the usual stuff. Uh, so from what I've heard, and I don't know if this is right, but I was reading a lot on the different wikis, and the chemical decomposer is what makes the chemicals into the base elements. Um, or really anything you throw in there. The microscope is how you can see what base elements you get out of each thing, so you're going to want that. Uh, the chemical synthesizer is what recombines them. Uh, I don't know what this is at all. 
Um, I didn't even know that existed. And then this leaded chest is something that's really important because that is what stores these chemicals. And I don't know what this information... Okay, so basically from what I've read, and I don't know if this is still a thing, but these have radioactive... It's like the whole radioactive like decay thing that you learn about in like environmental science. So they decay over time, but if you put them in the lead chest, it they should stop their decay. So I believe... Are these done yet? Yes, they are. Fantastic. So I believe we're going to need to make everything and then go back and make the lead chest because I'm not sure how much we can automate this, but we need to store everything in there so that we can prevent it from decaying because obviously we want to keep the stuff. So what I'm thinking we might be able to do is um, pipe things into these chests. I don't know how these like export stuff though. So... Uh, looks like we're going to need two of these. Do we need one for the microscope? No, we do not. Okay, so we're going to need two of these. A lot of pistons, iron blocks. So two iron blocks. I actually think I'm going to have to go cut down some wood because I do not believe we have any here. Let's just finish up this. We'll finish up the tesseract. Oh, it's not at tesseract. Let's finish up the tesseract first. Just take silver and bronze. It's good because we got a lot of bronze and a lot of silver. Okay, and we are done. Did I put? Damn it! I put those in backwards. You're killing me, game. There we go. So we can set this up. Do we want to set it up in the center over here? Hmm. Let's just set it up. We'll put it in this corner right here, just like in the other one. So we'll set this up. Check that, and it should just be receiving energy. We don't want it to do anything with that. Nothing with that. Okay. So that corner is finito right there. Uh, so I do believe we got to go cut down some wood. And I should probably make an axe. I actually just don't have an axe right now. I don't know why. I uh, usually just punch like a couple trees. We'll just make, we'll make an iron axe for the time being. Okay. And down we go. Where's an easy tree to cut down? I usually fly over here to cut down trees and just take out some, some random trees over here. Uh, it shouldn't take too many. But it's, yeah, it'll, it'll probably take like one or two trees. Uh, but I'm actually really excited for this mine chem thing. Uh, I know this is a lot of work right now at the beginning of the episode, but uh, I'm pretty excited to get into it. Someone requested that I kind of go through my process a little bit more if you guys are wondering why I don't have stuff pre-crafted today. Uh, I, I know obviously like most of you guys are probably really bored right now watching me like chop down trees and stuff. And I wasn't really planning on having to do this, but crafting all this stuff so you guys know what's going on uh, but the reason I'm really excited for this today is because I am actually going to whoa oh geez okay I didn't even see him there oh man we're being we're being attacked we got a bogey bogey at our six it's actually more like a bogey at our like 12 directly in front of us uh, but so yeah I am going to go into college for engineering and it was between biomedical and chemical engineering, but I've settled. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be uh, chemical. So I mean, this is like this is what my life is going to be basically. Uh, so it's kind of interesting to see it. Obviously, this isn't a perfect representation of it, but it is, it is a little exciting. So we're going to need. I believe I should have some cobble over here in one of these chests, unless I turned it like all to sand. No. Okay, we got twenty there. I feel like I had more somewhere. I wonder if I... I must have dropped it somewhere. Maybe I turned... I might have turned it all into sand. Hmm. You know what? We're going to have to take another little detour. I'm going to show you guys how I get my cobble, too. Uh, this is kind of a bad way to get cobble. Because it destroys the land. But here's how we do it. We'll go this way. I usually go the other way. But uh, this is what I did to get dirt and what I do to get cobble. So right here, uh, we got this nice little, nice little hole right here. We're just gonna come down here and just start, just start hacking away at it. Just hack into the ground a little bit, and then we'll just go this way a little bit, and uh, we got a cobble. And that should be all the resources we're gonna need for now. I really should check that before, but you know, whatever. Hindsight's twenty twenty. Um, but so, uh, I have been playing Daisy, or not Daisy. <laughs> I have been playing H1Z1, which is a lot like DayZ, uh, with my friends, and they just wanted me to mention that. I don't know why. But they brought it up. They're like, yeah, Yo, you should tell your subscribers that you play 
H1Z1. So that is what I've been doing with a lot of my time. Uh, if you guys were curious, I actually really enjoy the game. Uh, we actually do need we need a perfect 16. Nice. It is a it's a pretty fun game though, but when you die, it's a little rough. Oh, and we should make the iron block first too. Okay, there we go. Big part is done. I think this is the big part of most of these. Oh, guys, we're so close. We are so close to the exciting part. Okay, so first we got to get the chemical decomposer. Obviously, that's the first thing that we got to do. And this one is just going to take a diamond. So we might as well grab that right now. I believe the microscope is going to take a lot of glass, but no, that's no problem because we just got some some cobble that we can make into glass. So the synthesizer and the decomposer. Nice. So I'm going to go throw these down. I've taken a look at the UI from images, but not too sure. Obviously, we're going to be moving these around, but I will just throw them right here next to each other. I assume they take power. I yeah, okay, unpowered, um, and this is the support, okay. So I actually don't think I've ever seen this before. I don't know what this is, but if we look over here, I know what this is, we can, and we're actually, we should do that right now, because this is one of the first things we gotta do, uh, is this chemist journal. So the chemist journal kind of logs everything that you come across is what I got from it. So I did get enough sugar to make pages necessary for a book. We got the leather over here. Luckily I had one leather left from when I went out killing cows for food. Okay, and it says it takes glass. So I am going to gamble that we're not going to need any more cobble. Or you know what, I'll just throw I'll throw half in there, but we are going to need a lot of glass for when we make the microscope. So chances are we're going to need to make it all into glass. Uh, so the microscope, I guess we can start out with until we have the book, so it takes microscope lens, which takes, oh, that's a lot of glass that we're gonna need. Okay, well, we're throwing this in there. All the cobble goes in there. That is where the cobble went. I just forgot about chisels, okay. Can't believe I forgot about chisels, guys. I'm the worst. Okay, there we go. Now we're cooking with fire. What is concrete? Whoops, guess I accidentally made that from something. Okay, so we want to make the book first, which is apparently just that, and the book, chemist journal. Uh, use this journal to keep notes of all your scientific discoveries you make. There is a slot in the microscope for the journal. When you inspect an item, the recipe will be recorded. Discovered recipe is shown on the left. Item to activate the recipe, journal and synthesis. Activate the recipe will be automatically low. Okay, fancy. Hopefully you guys caught all that. <laughs> um, so first one is like this. That is a convex lens. Glass pane in there is kind of a waste. We need two convex and one concave. Okay, and we should have more glass in here. Nice, 21 glass. Great. So the concave looked like this, right? Yep. Okay, so we got that, and then we need to make the glass pane. Such a waste, such a waste. And boom. Microscope. Sweet. So we're going to have to hook these up to power, but as far as I know, this can go over here because I don't think it needs power. So let's throw this in here and let's take a look at something. How, how does this work? Oh, cool. So you put it right there. It's like you're, it's like you're slipping it under a microscope. You can change the views because uh, it doesn't really matter. So this gives us iron and copper, both stable, solid, transition metal. What does this do? So now let's test this out take that out of there grab this oh man okay we can see redstone so it's got a 42 chance and it takes 200 energy to synthesize okay that's interesting because I didn't know that it would have a slight chance of not giving that to you that's weird okay so now what we gotta do is I wonder if we have any I feel like we do have leftover energy conduits yes we do and we do have some item conduits too that is good because we are gonna have to hook this stuff up and we're gonna have to start start working with it. And I think we're gonna we're gonna wanna move this. No, can I just break it? Oh sweet. Okay, so gonna have to pull the power out of the bottom here. And we'll run it under here. One of these is gonna be a chest. So this do our inventory, get everything ready. So, no, I'm so bad at that. Okay, so we're gonna place it like this. 
and then the decomposer is what we're going to want first so that's going to go there it's powered now nice so that should decompose i don't know what goes in this thing right here oh fluids okay and then the synthesis machine is going to go right there and i guess we can just put a chest in between these two i don't know if they if they can export out they have an inventory in the bottom of them but i want to store everything in a chest so obviously with these chests we have the first chest and then we need lead so we're gonna have to take lead and decompose that first so it's a good thing we have a lot of lead a lot a lot of lead oh i already had some in my inventory i guess so first let's uh take it under under the microscope right click oh wow you get 16 from one okay that's a thing so no we actually don't need that there let's put one in here and let's wow okay so we got all 16 nice I'll dump that there for a second and I will come back uh, now how do we see I don't know if these do decay because I'm not seeing anything I feel like that would be oh no I didn't want to do that I didn't want to do that I accidentally just right click that um, give me the bottles back that was not good pick it up okay boys and those are glitching out now. Nice. Nice. Okay, we're not doing that again. Not doing that again. We need to make the chest first, too. That was that was pretty scary. I thought that was going to start spreading like water, which is why I was freaked out. And that's like liquid lead. So Can't imagine that's good. Um, so let's just let's take a gander here. I don't imagine these chests are super big. So maybe if we... Let's move this over one more, and put that there, put that chest there, that chest there, and then throw that there. Now I wonder if we put item conduits, actually you know what, we would only probably want one, right? Because now we're going to get messed up with it not transferring between these. Let's try this, okay? We'll do an experiment, because I can always make more of these conduits if we need them. We'll put one there and one there. Please don't be a hole down. Okay, we can work. We can make it work. So we're going to extract with nothing and insert. So now let's try another piece of lead. And it goes into the leaded chest. Okay, so that's good. Now, obviously, we're not going to be like decomposing literally everything we get. But the question that I have now is we'll make, we'll make some more of these. Uh, do I? Oh, man, no, I don't. I don't think I do, actually. Okay, we might have to make them later. I'm curious because from what I read, uh, and obviously what you guys read too, if we throw this in here and we have the recipe selected, it'll put the recipe in there. And I'm wondering if it will pull the stuff that it needs out. I don't know. That seems a little far-fetched. I don't think it could do that. So what we might do for now is break this just to make this a little bit simpler. Wow, that takes forever to break. We'll put this back, put that there, and get this back. And now we got this that we can throw down. And I, there is one thing that's going to bother me. So I may put a. Do I have one? I feel like I do. I feel like I have. It's definitely my painter right now. I know I do. There we go. Conduit facades got one left to put under this chest because this is going to bother me so much if I have to deal with this thing. So, oh damn, I got to get rid of these first. So we throw that there. Yep, that'll look nice and spiffy. And please, please, please don't be in the ground. Okay. Okay, so that's in there. That's all good insert and power nice we're cooking now guys I don't even know how long this episode's been but this looks nice we got that in there unfortunately this can't enter or access it um, it's not like one of the crafting tables we're gonna keep this in here for now okay so this is our mech chem room I suspect we're gonna end up getting a lot of these chests and I'm interested to see if there's any way I can get stuff uh, automated in here. We may end up messing around with these turtles next episode. 
But for now, I think that's it. There is also some multi-block stuff I forgot to mention that you do with like the fusion walls and tungsten plating and all this stuff. But that's uh, that's in the future. So I think this is pretty cool. Uh, I would really suggest you guys get into this mod because from what I've been reading, and maybe it's just the inner nerd in me that's really coming out with the you know chemistry and all that. A lot of people hate chemistry, but uh, I don't. But yeah, I think you guys should really look into this mod. Uh, if you enjoyed the video today, feel free to give it a like. It really helps me out a lot. And thank you for all the feedback you guys have been giving. Keep up the great work. It really means a lot to me. Um, but yeah, hope you guys are having a good time. And I'll talk to you later.